Hey, it's Bernie Sanders on the line. Hello. Please don't interrupt me again. You had your say. Now it's my turn, if I may. Are we clear on that? Because I want to make this perfectly clear. Sure, of course. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, great. Now I lost my train of thought. What was your question again? I think it was hello. Good question. If I may, I'd like to answer the second part first and then answer (laughs) the first part last. (laughs) If there's anything we must be clear on, and let me be perfectly clear by saying this, it's that the American people can no longer tolerate nor sustain an economic system with a top half 1% of 0.00.001% of the population owns 350% of everything in the goddamn world. Understand? Yes. And now here's my answer to the first part of your question. Yes, hello. Can you give us any thoughts on the recent election? Sure. Firstly, and this is very important, so far 35 candidates supported by our revolution have won elections. As you know, our revolution endorses candidates who support issues I championed. But make no mistake about it, we must not make the mistake of mistakenly mistaking the success for a full transformation in American politics. But it is a beginning, so to speak. That's all I have to say on that until I speak on it again in the next 15 seconds. Chris Eliza says that what had been a bubbling concern among Republicans about their prospects in the 2018 elections is now a frothing cauldron of panic. What is he, the narrator for Top Chef? Jesus, <laughs> what such a shitty writer. <laughs> Look, we can't become overconfident in last night's results. Right now, the Democratic Party is a frothing pot of bullshit. And unless they make a seat change and actually stand for something, their only hope is for Trump to keep coming out in favor of Confederate monuments. He also said Trump is a toxic taint. Bubbling cauldrons of panicky froth and toxic taints. This man is obsessed with filth. Do you think any of these progressive electoral victories would be happening under a Clinton presidency? Do you want my honest, forthright, An unvarnished opinion? Of course. If Hillary were president right now, the Democratic Party would be a bubbling cauldron of panicky (laughs) froth and toxic hate. And you can quote me on that. What do you consider our biggest threat today besides froth, panic, and taint? Not to go off subject, but froth, panic, and taint is a law firm here in (laughs) D.C. Anyway, the biggest threat today... I have to make this perfectly clear in the most perfectly clearest manner possible, so let me just say this, if you will. What was the question? What do you see as our biggest threat today? That's simple. That the world is rapidly becoming an international oligarchy controlled by a tiny number of billionaires. If we don't put a stop to this soon, we'll have a situation where the entire solar system is controlled by a tiny number of trillionaires, followed by the Milky Way galaxy being controlled by a tiny number of quadrillionaires, and a universe being controlled by an even tinier number of quintillionaires, and ultimately, an observable cosmos being controlled by a disembodied brain in a small Pyrex bubble of some sort. I'd estimate the total area of that brain protoplasm might control uh, about 46 billion light years of measurable deep space distance. So we really should get to work on this, is what I'm saying. What? (laughs) 